Okay, if you read this title and you're offended easily, you probably should not watch this video. That being said, if you're open-minded, watch this video because I'm not here actually to offend people. I'm here to give a perspective shift for some odd narrative that I've experienced over the course of my life. So I was born in the 1990s and much like a lot of people that I grew up around, I had um, you know, a mother that I saw a lot at home and, you know, who cooked dinner for us and female teachers growing up, going through elementary school. A lot of our dads worked a little bit later, you know, late hours. And a lot of our childhood was trying to get the approval and the attention of uh, these women in our lives, these women who were in authority positions over us. Let's take our teachers, for example. My, my mom is actually a teacher, but I grew up with um, a lot of female teachers going through elementary school. And if you think about it, you're always, if you're a boy or a girl, you're always trying to get the approval of that teacher because if you get the wrong answer, you get uh, punished for it. If you get the right answer, you get rewarded for it via a grading class. And, um, so I went through most of my life just, yeah, I mean, being taught to be respectful towards women. And honestly, it eventually led to me walking on eggshells around women a lot. And when I got a little bit older, around 18, 19, 20, when I was in college, um, we were taught that women have been oppressed for a very long time. So I graduate college, I get into the real world, and it gets a little bit worse, especially in recent years. I'm 30 now, so this is uh, 12 years after I turned 18. About seven or eight years since I graduated college. And when I got into the, the workforce, still didn't really think anything of it. Still was, um, at least tried to be respectful towards women. Still kind of bought that narrative that women are oppressed. Women have been very oppressed for a long time. They deserve more help than us. They need more help than us. People don't reward people in society that are like a white male, for example. But if you're um, a certain race or a certain gender, typically, or uh, specifically in this video that I'm talking about right now, a woman, you might be hired into a company or you might be given a certain benefit or an opportunity that somebody else isn't given just because that company wants to have diversity within their company. They, they want to have, like, let's say there's a lot more men and now they want to have more women, so they might get even more opportunity. And people still complain today that women don't have as much opportunity as men. And so dating got very interesting for me in my late 20s before I met um, my amazing girlfriend right now, dating was very interesting. Um, certain women really liked me that I was outspoken on dates because I was turning 27, 28, and I was getting more outspoken about my uh, beliefs and just like questioning stuff. So I remember going on a couple of dates before I met my current girlfriend where I, um, these women would they were working in Detroit for like big companies and they lived in nice places. They drove nice cars, nicer cars than me. And that's kind of what you, what you saw being an adult. If, if you're a man in America, you went into the workforce and you saw these like women, if you continued dating into your mid and late twenties, you'd be going on what dates with women who would be driving nicer cars than you had higher incomes than you would, you know, pay, like they would offer to pay for and would follow through with paying for your dinner or something if you wanted to get something to eat. And um, you started to wonder, why are they doing so much better than I am? Some of these women are like one, two, or three years younger than me. Why are they doing so much better? And um, if, if you're watching this, maybe you're thinking, well, maybe maybe you just suck, Troy. Like, you should be doing better. Yeah, I, I get it. You can do better. There are a lot of guys, a lot of men doing better than me or that were doing better than me when I was 27, 28. But anyway, um, you'd be on dates with these women and they'd still talk about oppression and like this glass ceiling. And I said, what, what is it though? And they'd say things like, well, there's still, you know, I can't safely walk out at night in the middle of a dark city. I don't feel safe doing that. I don't feel safe doing that either. I wouldn't do that. That's dumb. 
for anybody to do. To walk out in a, a city at night alone, man or a woman. So there's that. And then there's like this whole attitude in work environments and a prejudice against women in the workplace. And I honestly don't see it. I see women getting hired um, just because people like them, just because people want to give them more opportunity, just so they can check off the we have diversity in our company mark on that checklist. That's what I see. <laughs> and um, I started kind of awakening to this in my late 20s when I started realizing wh why are, you know, like I, I kind of bought, I bought it. I was like, you know what, my life's fine, whatever. Yeah, sure. Women have been oppressed for years and years. I'll try to understand this. That was my attitude in college and just out of college. But as I got more into my late 20s, it seems like more people in the last couple of years have complained about the oppression of women than before that. Because it seems like they've always had equal opportunity. It seems like they've always had many, many opportunities to build their careers and to do very well in life and to be independent and to be on their own and to provide for themselves. It seems like they've had those opportunities for a while. And it seems like in the last couple of years, for some reason, there's this narrative coming in where people are just like, yeah, w women are oppressed and uh, people treat women differently. And in my whole view on that, when some of these women that I was going on dates with at like 27, 28 years old, um, they just seemed very bitter. Even though they were living in a nice, nicer place than me, driving a nicer car than me, had more money, and were able to do more things, they still complained that women were oppressed. And I don't think it's even a, a powerful attitude for them to tell other women that society is against them. How is that going to empower you? And the bottom line is I don't even think it's true. Anyways, in the comments, let me know what you think. I wanted to end this, my plan was to end this video on a very positive note, which was um, you don't have to agree. Like if you're feeling some of the same things that I was feeling at 27, 28 when I was kind of waking up to that and like I wanted to express my opinion and I didn't want to walk on eggshells with women anymore and I wanted to just speak my opinion, you can do that and... It'll drive some people away. Like some of those women that I was going on dates with, they would go on three or four dates with me. And then after that, they wouldn't want to talk to me because um, I was being myself and I was expressing my opinion. And maybe they weren't used to that. Maybe they wanted a guy they could walk all over, but they met a guy with a backbone who wasn't just going to agree with them and um, be super nice to them. Uh, I don't know, maybe in other ways I was too nice, but I, I felt like I was just speaking my opinion more and more. And what happened was um, some people really started to like me. And then those other women that went out, that would go on three or four dates with me and disagree with me and keep disagreeing with me and then, you know, just not see me anymore. It pushed them away and I'm, I'm glad that it did. So a bottom line for this video on a more positive note is if you are yourself, it'll push away the people that aren't for you and you should be very happy about that, but it'll attract more open-minded people who like you for you and will respect your opinion. And maybe even your partner, when you meet the right one, won't even agree with a lot of the stuff that you're saying, but if she's open-minded enough to hear it, to hear your opinions on things, then you both can um, grow together and learn from each other. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, and I think that's what I wanted to end on. There was, yeah, so basically, uh, the more that you push away certain people, the more others, you'll, like you'll, you'll weed out the ones that aren't for you and you'll kind of attract the ones or the one, you know, the person eventually your partner that is for you and honestly it's fantastic um, there are people out there for you uh, there are people out there that are pleasant to be around that are open-minded that won't just like run away because you have a different opinion than them um, you'll scare a lot away a lot of people that have big egos but attract people that have open minds by being yourself and speaking your opinions whatever they are and um, 
I respect your opinion watching this. So comment below if you agreed with what I was saying or uh, your opinions. Peace. Thank you for listening.